more the better. More boost, please. We need more boost all the time. It's my first flight out of Tallahassee uh, to Texas, to Dallas, and now uh, Dallas to Phoenix. And then from Phoenix, I got a three hour layover to uh, Bend, Oregon, or Redmond, Oregon, to go on this snowmobile trip. So, this is called a job. <laughs> doing something I don't really like want to do today, but uh, I'm doing it. So, anyway. Okay, my last flight from Phoenix to Redmond is my third flight of the day, going on 12 hours of travel. to basically the Mount Bachelor Three Creeks zone next to like the Three Sisters Wilderness. We'll be in the National Forest. Just, yeah. Good. Kind of my home stomping grounds is where I grew up riding. So. I feel like uh, I've been here for Haley's race in stock cars a long time ago for some reason. But uh, yeah, it was a long flight to get here from Tallahassee, but stoked that we got to do this. And actually I think it was perfect because it's sunny out. It's not really that cold. It's like actually a probably perfect day. Yeah. You know, and he yeah. said that it snowed, so. There's been so many days where it snows and then turns to rain and freezes and it could have been horrible and like for you guys to have a single day here is pretty sweet so like i was stressed about it and now <laughs> it'll be awesome so we're riding links uh shredder re 3900s that's what you and i'll be riding okay. turbos um yeah fresh to north america okay sweet yeah that'll be fun man i'm new to this so this should be an interesting day <laughs> Recognize that. It's actually a nice day out, man. It's sunny, 80 degrees. See how long it takes so you get these things stuck. <laughs> yeah, so we got Brian here. My stomping grounds is where I grew up riding, and uh, we got a bunch of Lynx turbo sleds. We have a foot of fresh snow, and uh, we have blue skies. So you could really couldn't ask for more. And uh, we're gonna go see if we can get him stuck. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's a little heavier than what I'm used to, but you know, I've been working out, so we should be able to handle this thing here. So it's pretty fast, so <laughs> we'll try to keep it on the trail. Not send it off into a tree or something. But you have insurance on these? It's BRP's insurance. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head up in the trails. I haven't been snowmobiling since uh, Aspen X Games, which would have been what, three or four years ago, maybe. We went and went snow biking with Jacko and the boys, but man, it's been a long time since it's been in the snow. I'm glad I made time to do this, so it should be a fun day, man. Definitely out of my element to challenge, but it'll be it'll be cool. So we'll get to go watch Ross, try to follow him a little bit through some of the trails and have a good day. So let's see what happens. To lay it over and do the donuts, you're just really counter steered. Yep. Yeah. Really counter steered. Those ones I'm wrong foot forward. Wrong foot forward. Like full NASCAR style. Uh -huh. So you're basically like this on yep. one side or? Yeah, and then that, your left foot is 
Yep, free like that. Dangling. But yeah, committing dude. to the counter steer is the biggest thing. Yeah. So is. the more you counter steer, the more the sled wants to tip over. And the less you counter steer, it wants to go back to two skis. Yeah. So that's kind of how we balance it. A balance deal. Yeah, yeah. that's a good field to learn here. Yeah, this is... Not much you can run into. No. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you fall over, you just fall in the snow. Dude, mountain riding over by the sled. Mountain riding has got to be one of the steepest initial learning curves. It is so crazy. Brian's obviously talented at a lot of things, so he's already got he's getting the hang of it in like five minutes. But just like it's so counterintuitive to turn left, to go right, to get it on edge, and you're doing all these things, but once you like get that, then you really unlock the fun of mountain riding. pretty cool when you have so much experience doing other things in like just going fast and like riding moto it's pretty crazy how fast you get a hang of it It looks pretty good. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Really fun. Like more power, the better. More boost, please. We need more boost all the time. Bush. <laughs> you know, I hit the jump when. Yup. <laughs> Back country here. <laughs> Just another day in the office here. <laughs> I used to have the trees on the course. <laughs> Who the hell put the trees on the course? <laughs> How do you gonna follow this trail? Probably, Probably like six, jump. six or eight feet deep right here. Stress. Yeah. Stump. Mm -hmm. been good though it's fun you know like you really take it for granted sometimes like all the stuff we get to uh, do and all the places we go it's almost like a duty why we put out our videos so we can share that you know I was a kid in Nebraska that literally lived in a small town and I growing up I always wanted to see what everyone else was doing you know and I was able to use my dirt bike to travel but nowadays with the internet you can you can kind of live through vicariously through people's journeys. And I think it's cool to be able to share this and it's, dude, it's so badass out here. It's like the gnarliest backcountry. It's crazy when you think, oh, they talk about America being 
overpopulated, dude. There's so much. It's not even close, dude. There's so much country. It's crazy that's just untapped. And um, I don't know, it's cool to go out here and venture around. It's cool to like come right here and bring guys like you guys and Brian here. Cause I was side hilling this hill when I was like 14 and now I'm still playing on it and doing things that I definitely wasn't doing when I was 14, but it's like, yeah, it's fun to just like come back to the home stomping grounds. I, I travel a lot to ride. Dad was my director of photography when I was like 14, 15, 16. We, we bought a camera. He just started taking photos of me and I started sending them to companies and putting together the, the pitch deck and trying to figure out how to be a pro rider. And like, I remember I was like a box of gear showed up and my parents were like, how did you get this? <laughs> and I was wheeling and dealing. I was young, young and hustling and trying to make it all happen. So it's cool that I've been able to like carve it out and uh, get to share it with, you know, guys like you guys, Brian obviously is a, grew up watching him ride bikes and flip bikes and do all that. And now it's sweet. I get to show him my backyard and what I do. So it's, it's cool. It's, it's hell of an experience. Do a little bit of what was this snowmobile built for? Benar. been out on a snowmobile so uh it was good though come up here in oregon uh, it was a far trip from florida but uh it was worth it for sure like i wanted to come out here i didn't know what to expect really and uh i think it, i mean dude it was fun man i had a good time it was yeah. badass like i definitely like do it again yeah pretty sick thanks for coming i appreciate it i mean it's a long ways to come ride for one day <laughs> luckily we got good we got pretty good snow we had good crew good sleds i mean yeah we didn't really have to wait on too many people like usually there's a mass amount of people and <laughs> you just yeah. like all day you're just digging uh, people out that's what it was last time but it was good we had a small crew found some good spots uh, I think the snow was decent nice day sunny we, we caught like good weather I think it snowed a little bit last yeah. night we might have missed it by a day or so there yeah. the, some early birds got out there and beat it in a little bit but um, overall it wasn't too bad I only saw probably dozen people today. Well, I'd say Ross obviously knows how to ride these and was able to carve through the trees and end up the, the mountains and, and flip them around 180s and some cliff jump stuff and uh, hit some catchy some big jumps and it was cool to see it you know to see kind of the potential of these of these uh, sleds so overall it's definitely a I think it passed the test <laughs> and we got home and, yeah, I, home and I only ran into it like two trees and I only broke the front off it so <laughs> like mountain sledding is its own beast which like in the perfect world we would have like three or four days together yeah and I could we could like I could really get you comfortable on it because it's like hey you want to go left got to turn right counter steer use the brake like it's so weird and like counterintuitive um, Brian has so much experience, obviously, in like motorsports that he gets the hang of it fast. But just like spending a lot of time on it to get that comfort and then really unlocking like what it's all about is kind of would be obviously ideal. But we don't have all the time in the world, so <laughs> that's what you get today. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll you still be, had fun. We'll be back. Yeah. So thanks, dude. Appreciate thanks, it. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.